See, people are talking about they not only love people around them, they love God these days. Now, if you sincerely look at it, all this is just plain survival. Please see, you have needs to fulfill. Even if you love somebody, you have needs to fulfill, isn't it? Physical, emotional, psychological, financial, social, so many needs to fulfill you have. To fulfill these needs, I love you is always a good mantra. <coughs> On a certain day, Shankaran Pillar went to the park. In the park on one of the stone benches, a pretty woman was sitting. He went and settled down on the same bench. After a few minutes, he moved closer to her. She moved little away. Few more minutes, again he moved little closer. She moved little away. Now she's at the end of the bench. Now he again moved a little closer. Now the only option is she has to either get up and leave or do something else. So she pushed him away. Then Shankar Pillar <coughs> waited for a few minutes. Sun was just setting, you know. That evening twilight, you can say many things. He went down on his knees and told her, I love you. I love you like I have never loved anybody in my life. This twilight zone, if it is in the middle of the afternoon, nobody would believe you. But you know, when the sun is setting, a woman is always a fool for love, she melted. <laughs> she melted. Things happen between them. Then it's nearing eight o'clock, Shankar and Pillai got up in a hurry. I need to go, I need to go. She said, what are you going? You said you love me. As far as she is concerned, the moment he uttered the word, I love you, they have become one. He said, no, no, I need to go, my wife is waiting, eight o'clock I have to be there. So, I love you is like that open sesame, you know? You know the story? So, to get what you want to get, this is a good mantra. As long as you have needs within you, it doesn't arise, love doesn't arise, please see. Because wherever you go, you have to fulfill your needs, needs are there. So the whole effort of yoga, in yoga we never talk about love, not because there's no value to it, <coughs> simply because if you try, it will not come. If you transcend your needs, you will naturally become loving. If you have no needs of your own, you will be capable of enormous love, you know. When you have needs of your own, you will pretend to be loving, but all that you're trying to do is, to, you know, fulfill your needs. People whom you claim to love, please see there is an arrangement. It's a mutual benefit scheme. <laughs> you give me this, you g I'll give you that. But if you don't give me this, I won't give you that. Isn't it so? Just try and see things that you're supposed to be offering to people, just withhold it for some time and see what will happen to love affairs. There are needs to fulfill. Now I do I am not trying to make your life ugly, paint your life ugly. There are needs to fulfill and you're fulfilling it, it's an arrangement, it's fine. There is a beauty to that also, that people are willing to fulfill each other's needs. But don't call it a love affair and miss love affairs. Now if you label something as love, then the true thing will never happen, isn't it? He said, right now I have a good arrangement, but someday I want to experience love also. Isn't it? Keep it open, don't destroy it by calling this and that by names which are not true. <laughs>